A substrate is the substance on which an organism lives. So chickens are organisms. <laughs> they have to have something, some kind of bedding in their brooder, in their coop, because honestly, like they poop a lot and something needs to absorb that or deal with that in some way so that it doesn't become dangerous for them. But the question is, what should you choose? Should you choose straw? Should you choose wood shavings? Should you choose sand? Well, my friends, this is the great substrate debate. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I have witnessed good, decent, God-fearing people <laughs> completely lose their minds over sand versus straw versus shavings. It is just a huge debate in the chicken world and people have really strong feelings about it. This is not my hill to die on. I am not gonna die on this chicken hill. <laughs> Mainly, it's just about what works for you. And you know, everybody has, you know, they're living in different climates. They have different coops. They themselves have different habits. You can find what works best for you and that can be your best choice. So Chickenlandia doesn't have a lot of like absolutes where it's like, this is the right way to do it. And if you don't do it this way, you're doing it wrong. So let's talk about the, the different characteristics of these different substrates and find out what will work best for you specifically. So when I bring baby chicks home and I put them in their artificial brooder, I really like to use either paper towels. This is, this is the Chickenlandia way of doing it. I will use paper towels or I will use a thin old towel that doesn't have a lot of strings hanging off of it that they could get tied up in or anything and no like fragrances from um, detergents. You don't want that. And the reason I do this is because uh, baby chicks, they have two really important needs when they first come home to you. The first is that they need to be able to find their feed very quickly. And paper towels are perfect, or you know, a thin towel is perfect because you can sprinkle their feed and a little bit of grit with it all around their brooder. And so they find it very quickly. Whereas with shavings, they'll have their feed in their feeder and if you sprinkle it around it's harder for them to find and chicks are very vulnerable when they come to you from the farm store or having been shipped they're very vulnerable in those first few days the other reason why i will use paper or cloth towels is because baby chicks really need to get good traction on their little feet there are some conditions that baby chicks can get if they don't have good traction, like if you put them on newspaper, that's very slippery for them, not to mention like the ink that's on it might not be good for them. So what can happen is they don't have that good traction and it's too slippery and their legs can get kind of stretched out and they can get what's called spraddle leg or spr uh, splayed leg. It's difficult to deal with, it's difficult to treat. So the best thing is to make sure they have really good traction and paper towels or an old cloth towel gives them that really good traction. And then after a few days, you can switch them over to shavings. Um, you know, some people will use straw, some people will even use sand in their brooders. So when chickens grow up, obviously they need a coop to live in and that coop needs some kind of bedding in it. So it can be shavings, which can be hemp. I forgot to mention that before. Hemp shavings, pine shavings, aspen shavings. I would not do cedar shavings in the coop because there is some thought that it can irritate their nasal passages. So I, I would, I recommend steering clear of cedar shavings inside the coop. Straw is another type of bedding that people have been using for a really long time. Chickens have been living on straw for a really long time. And then there's sand, which has become very popular. Some people really feel like it's, it just makes for easy cleanup. You know, people can go in and like, just scoop it out like they would a cat litter box. Sand is not my favorite in Chickenlandia. <laughs> but you might really like it. I don't like it because of my specific circumstances. So let's go over all of these and just talk about what would be best for you 
taking your climate into consideration and also your habits as a chicken keeper. If you live in a drier climate, if you are the kind of person that likes to scoop poop every day, and if you are not interested in something like the deep litter method, which I can link a video about that in the description where I, I talk about what that is, then it would be perfectly fine for you to choose sand. You might find that that's really what you like best. If you are hashtag lazy like me, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to hate, like there is no shame in your chicken game if you do not want to scoop poop every day. I don't want to do that. So I, I don't, and I don't have sand in my coop because I don't like to do that. I also like to do the deep litter method when I can, especially during the winter. And I need something more absorbent for my flock because I'm just not going to be in here scooping poop every single day. If you live in a wet climate, sand might not work for you. The ducks come in, they're wet, the chickens are wet, their feet are muddy, they come into the coop, there's sand in the coop, and it's really, you know, here's my duck right now. <laughs> she agrees with me. You know, like I can't just scoop it all out, you know, at a moment's notice and start over. And also because I've had disease in my flock. And when you have disease in your flock, you need to clean out your coop. I would say you gotta get rid of everything in there and start over, start fresh. And it's harder to do that with sand because it is just more of a permanent substance. If you do wanna use sand, um, coarse sand is best, like construction sand. And if that works for you, I promise it's absolutely fine. You are still welcome in chicken land. <laughs> So if you decide after learning all that, that sand is not for you, choose wood shavings or hemp shavings or straw, but make sure that your coop is nice and dry because that's one of the big uh, concerns that people have is that it could develop mold, it could develop bacteria. What I would say to that is if you have good ventilation in your coop, you should not be having those problems. So make sure you clean it out when it needs to be cleaned out. If you're doing deep litter, you need to make sure that it is very well turned and that it's not developing any kind of yucky spots or getting ammonia buildup. If you're good about those things, then I think it's perfectly fine and safe for you to choose uh, hemp shavings, wood shavings, or straw. I have heard some concerns about pine shavings that kind of are similar to people's concerns about uh, cedar shavings. I haven't seen anything that really convinces me so far that pine shavings are dangerous in any way. But if you are concerned about that, you can always choose something like hemp or aspen shavings, and then you could feel better about that. So I hope this brought some light to the great substrate debate. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> but you know, whatever bedding you choose, it will make no difference if your chickens are totally vulnerable to predators. The predators will just come in and eat your chickens. They don't care what substrate you're using. <laughs> so if you wanna learn more about how you can protect your chickens, I want you to click right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chicken education and entertainment, and I know you're gonna love it.